Hi, I'm Yusuf. In this video, we will talk about CNC technology and access of machining centers. Uh, CNC means computerial numerical control. Actually, manual milling machines and uh, CNC machining centers have the same kinematics. Uh, have same ball bearings and uh, CNC table. Uh, but machining centers uh, have control panels. The main uh, difference is that they have servers, they have bolt screws, and they have CNC tables. Uh, what's the difference with manual uh, mills and machining centers? Uh, in previous video uh, I show you G-codes. Uh, when you load the G-codes on the uh, control panels, control panels, uh, you see FANUC, but uh, there are uh, more many uh, control panels like Hyde 9, Mitsubishi, Siemens. Uh, these control panels uh, uh, moves to servo that connected to ball screw and it connect to table. Uh, it moves servo uh, with these G codes, the X, Y, and Z axis. So it machines, uh, it cuts the parts uh, mainly. CNC's, CNC machines work like this. Uh, and now look at the axis. What are the axis? Uh, we always see three axis uh, CNC machine, vertical machine center. They are the axis, X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. There are three axes. Uh, if you cut uh, this contour, uh, the periphery of the parts, you use two axes, the X and Y axis. Z axis uh, take a position and only X and Y axis move. Uh, but if you cut a formed part, the three axes work simultaneously, X, Y and Z axis. Uh, so, uh, there is not a two and a five axis uh, machines, they always uh, are three axis, but CAM systems, CAM operations are uh, called two and five axis uh, and three axis. Okay, so let's switch to the four axis machine. This is four axis machine. The vertical, uh, it has a vertical rotary table. It's called rotary table. Look at its axis. It's X, Y, and Z. And it's A. Why it's called A, not, uh, why not B or C? Because it's uh, working on X axis working on XS. Okay. That's why it's called A. Uh, it can uh, it can work uh, position positions or simultaneous. Uh, if you cut holes on a uh, if you cut Holes, uh, on a cylinder, you can uh, drill it by positioning it. But if you draw a helix on a cylinder, you must work simultaneously. That's the difference between uh, simultaneous and positioning. Uh, but it's my uh, it's the subject of my next video. 
Okay, let's look at five axis machines. That's the most common used uh, five axis machine. Let's look at machines uh, axis. Uh, in in this version x y uh, isn't under the table it's above the table x y z that a axis it's tilt axis it's called tilt axis it's y a because x it's uh, turning on x and C axis, rotary axis, tilt axis, rotary axis. Okay. Uh, by using five axis simultaneously or uh, by positioning them, uh, you access uh, to the whole uh, parts. Okay. Other five axis kinematics. Uh, that's second most common used as I see machine the DMG uh, Evo 50 and 60 are in this kinematics I think in previous machine there were A and C but now they are B and C because it's turning on y axis as you see and c axis it's generally used for uh, smaller uh, parts when you compare our previous uh, machine that's uh, a different kinematic it is generally used for uh, big parts that's the B axis on the head and C axis on the table We forgot to tell that four axis machine, uh, it's horizontal machining center, it's called. Uh, it's, it has four axis. That's B, X, Y, and Z. Generally, it is used with thumbstone, uh, a big fixture. Uh, and parts are attached to it and uh, it is machined with positioning um, I don't know the English word but uh, it's called borewerk some types of them it has a W axis on the spindle uh, and in these types of machines you can uh, you can work simultaneously also uh, for example uh, if you have a helix helix gear uh, you can uh, you can machine uh, the gears between gears with uh, simultaneously uh, these are uh, main CNC types In our next video, we will look uh, what kind of parts are machined uh, on these tables. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.